Hi there! Um, it's spring and I'm doing my daily login for our quarantine workouts, social distancing. Um, I just finished a run and that actually, I want that to be part of your workout today. So it may not work quite with the live, but I'm anticipating not very many people on it this time today. So um, first things first, also it's a beautiful day in Tulsa and I had this all set up to go on my porch, on my front porch, but um, my neighbors are mowing their grass. So I moved back inside to my trusty little running yoga space. Um, and I definitely feel most comfortable and safe in here with you guys. So um, today we're going to do a 10 minute upper body routine, um, but I would love it, especially if it's a nice day. And even if it's not, I challenge you to move through a little discomfort and put your rain jackets on, bundle up if it's cold where you are, but head on out for a one mile run or walk, um, wave and smile at everyone that you see, and then when you get back, you can uh, click the video and finish the workout, just 10 minutes. So you need no equipment. We're gonna have um, four to five moves. We'll set a timer. We'll just go through the circuit for 10 minutes, um, and then we'll be done. So. I'm going to get you guys up on the window where I normally put you and uh, we'll get started from there. So excited to do this one. There you go. Okay, so get yourself situated. You don't need any equipment, just enough space to kind of head on out into a plank position. We've got some push-ups today. I'm gonna get situated down here on my computer. Make sure I share the workout. That's something that you guys can do that will help me when you do these. One, I love to see that you're doing them. It helps me stay encouraged to continue uh, producing them each day. And two, hopefully we can get all your friends and family doing this as well to enhance that sense of community and togetherness even while we're apart. So I'm just gonna share this to my personal page so people can see it and then get the timer ready ten minute upper body no equipment workout all right Okay, so don't forget to pause me, head on out, do your one mile run or walk, and then come on back. So um, we'll pick up when you get back. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you went. Welcome back. I've got a timer going for 10 minutes. We're gonna do five moves. I'll tell you what they are real quick. We'll do eight reps of each move. After we do five, we'll take a 30 second rest and then we'll start again and we're gonna see how many times we can get through um, this circuit. So we're gonna start with eight push-ups. Then we're gonna roll over and do eight V-ups. We're gonna roll back over and do eight on each arm shoulder taps. Roll back over, do eight on each side bicycles and roll back over and do eight um, plank to dolphin. So a lot of back and forth, um, but that'll keep us, keep it kind of exciting and uh, broken up in terms of repeating exercises all from one position. So I'm gonna start the timer. We're just gonna let it run for 10 minutes. Remember there's a built-in 30 second break at the end, um, but if you get kind of off of my pace, that's okay, go at your own pace, um, and we'll get through this together. Here we go, come on down to the mat. I'm gonna start our timer, we'll move for 10 minutes, starting with those push-ups. I'm going from the knees, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, roll over, we got V-ups next. So we'll be flat on your back. I almost don't have enough room here. And then you're gonna sit up, reach for your toes in the sit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, roll back over to 
the top of your plank. We've got shoulder taps next. So you're here up on your toes and you're just going to alternate reaching up to tap the opposite shoulder. That's two, three, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Okay, come on back down. Now we've got bicycles. So knees will come up. You're going to twist elbow to opposite knee. Eight on each side. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, back over. This is the last move of the five, and we're going to be in a forearm plank just like this. And then you're going to lift through your hips to walk your feet up as close as you can, and then walk them back down. Up and down. Two, three, so you're coming almost into kind of a shoulder forearm stand, just doing your best. We got our 30 second break after this. I think we've got three more. Your hips move up into the air. Two. Last one. A lot of how high you get will depend on your hamstring flexibility, and I don't have much. So, first round down, we're in our 30 second break right here. And when we finish this 30 seconds, we'll be at our three minute mark. So, maybe we'll get through it three times. Um, I have a feeling we'll start to slow down a little bit. So, maybe we won't, we'll just see what happens. We got five seconds, we're back to those push-ups. Three, two, one, here we go. Just eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, back around for V-ups. I'm gonna see if I can do them this way for more room. Here we go, eight, up, two, to the top of your push-up for shoulder taps. Tall plank, here we go. Try to keep your hips nice and steady in the center. We're not shifting from side to side too much. I think we've got three, two, one. Rest. Back to your backs for bicycles. Eight on each side. Twist, twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest. Oh, not the 30 second rest. Roll over. Let's move this mat out of the way and see if that works better for me. Okay, so last move was the dolphin. So we're going to be here on your forearms. Set up in your plank position. And then we're going to walk the hips up, feet in as close as you can. You can even play around with kind of sliding them back like that if you're on a slick surface. Up, slide. So this move is for shoulders and core, plus a little stretch through your hamstrings. Up, this will be halfway, down, up. Oh, what are we at? Three more? Okay. Last two. And last one. Rest. 30 seconds. We'll be right at six minutes. So, kept on pace that round pretty good. How's everybody doing? Come up, high five if you're close by. One more round, we got 15 seconds. 
I guess we'll get to do one more round in a little bit of a fourth round, some more push-ups. Okay, come on down. Three, two, one, go. One, two, as low as you can go. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, time for V-ups. Roll back around, and we'll get eight in. Here we go. Lean back, sit up to the center. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Back around, shoulder taps. Nice tall plank, steady through the hips. Tap, tap, two, two. Two more in each, two, one, rest. Back to your backs for bicycles. Here we go. Twist, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got that dolphin move again. Dolphin to plank. Here we go. So onto your forearms, start this by getting proper alignment for plank, shoulders right over your elbows, then lift through the hips as you walk your feet up, and step back, or slide them back up. You can even jump back. Three, here we go, up, back, four, up, back. Five, up, back, up, back. Two more, up, back. Last one, up, back. Rest. Went through that one a little bit faster. Huh. All right, 30 seconds will put us at 8.50. We'll have time to get through a little bit of a fourth round. And then we'll be done. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, we've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three. Let's try push-ups from our toes this time. It's our last round. Here we go. I have no idea if I'll be able to do this. Down. Whoa. Just one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, around for V ups. I like to do them for my knees when I get tired. Well, really, the whole time, because to me, and this will be personal preference, too, I like a bigger range of motion than to be in true full form. Three more. Three, two, one. All right, shoulder taps. We still got time on our timer. It's 9.40. 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And time's up. Perfect timing. Have a seat. We'll stretch out our shoulders. Take a couple big shoulder rolls. And now let's take the right arm across the chest. Good work today. It's a quick one. But effective. And if you have time and it's still nice out, you can end it with a one mile walk or run at the end. Two. And release. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come down behind you. Just enough that you're sitting up tall. You're not leaning into your hands, but they're reaching for the ground behind you and you're pulling your shoulder blades together. 
Three deep breaths. Here we go. In. Out. One more. Okay, last stretch. Take your right arm out in front, bring the left arm underneath, wrap your hands around. It's okay if the backs of your hands meet. If you can get your fingertips to your palm, that's great. Press the elbows forward, reach the fingertips up. Three deep breaths. Last one. And unwind, we're gonna switch left arm out in front first, then right arm underneath, same pattern, reach the elbows forward, fingertips up. One more deep breath. And release. Great job, don't forget if you complete this workout, please comment like or share it, or if you've got my info, you can always text me, DM me, let me know that you did it. So I can give you high fives and fist bumps. I love you guys, I miss you. Keep showing up.